What's up guys, it's Mr. Jamvin and today we are back on the Pokemon Showdown server for another This is what, 8 in a row? Somebody pointed out, actually the first comment I got yesterday it was like, damn, you do realize This is 7 in a row, right? You've uploaded every day this week Um, I've, I've been intended to, like, make a return for a while uh, But so many times I've said, oh, I'm going to and then life happens and then I can't So rather I decided I'm just gonna do it. I won't tell you guys that I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it um, because actions always speak louder than words. So, yep. Today we're gonna be featuring Arcanine um, and the Gigantamax Hatterene. I actually built this team. So, um, a subscriber of mine, um, John Storm Yeri Rod, requested. I believe this might be a sub of mine. Uh, almost 1800. This is gonna be a fun one. Um, Johnston requested me to use Hatterene and then I was like oh fuck it let me throw something together and this is what I have um, so yeah should be a, a blast should be a blast time a blast time and I was like you know why is nobody using Arcanine I remember it was the ultimate Zacian counter what happened and so I decided to use that as well excuse me so in this game um, Arcanine guards well against the um, Zacian. Obviously, with Sun Up, I mean Sand Up, it's not the best. But he's not gonna want to give up Sand uh, very easily because that gives up his drill. Um, you know, probably gonna try to Dynamax all that good stuff. Um, but Arcanine guards well against um, Zacian, Corviknight, uh, for the most part. This might guard well against the the Eternatus, depending on the set. But I'm gonna try to lean more on Umbreon for that. Um, Corviknight guards well against Corviknight, Excadrill, somewhat Zacian, and Umbreon is going to be primarily for his his Fire Dragon. Um, and Darm is unguardable. Uh, once I click that Icicle Crash, body start to drop, hit the floor, and then I just Earthquake away after that. Um, and potentially Trick Room Hatterene can destroy him as well. So, um, quite a few things. Uh, Go Finn, hey! So a lot of people, I guess this guy played. I mean, he has some points, so he's high on the ladder. Um, playing a Uber Phenom right now. Um, hmm. This is tough. So I'm gonna bluff the Scarf Darm here. I. So be it. Let's see. Yeah, I figured he'd go Corver there. Um. Mm. If it's not it's not jam if he doesn't take a full minute to pick a lead. Uh, facts factualis. Huh. I'm trying to think if I need the damage on this. Wish inviting what? So he has bulk up. Okay. This means I go hard um Corbin here. I'm surprised he bulked up. He's gonna double switch here, but I'm just not sure to what. Um, so he body presses hard. Didn't expect body press. The wish came true. Awesome, awesome, awesome. As we get to U-turn again here, invite Arcanine. So this is actually perfect. Um, as I get to go for, hmm. I will always, I don't think Reshiram would be, I didn't think Reshiram would be his initial switch. Primarily because he can't really deal with, um, Dugtrio. Unless this is some kind of like Dugtrio trapping this is gonna be a big deal. I'm gonna use Umbreon for what Umbreon is there for. He might fire move because he's expecting um what's it called? Because he's expecting So since he's playing the Reshiram so like aggressively, um I know how I'm gonna deal with it. That means he doesn't think my Arcanine can touch his Reshiram, which is good. Um gotta get this healthy. Interesting, Eternity just comes out. Um, not sure what to expect, and I'm still gonna bluff my choice card from my Dark Manitin. That's gonna come in clutch. Um, so let's just foul play here. Um, Flamethrower comes out. Again, not sure what to expect. This could be choice. Um, there's a Toxic. So he has Toxic, Flamethrower. That means my Hatterene likely walls him then. So that means he's not gonna expect me to stay. Yep, mm -hmm. my Hatterene walls him. Um, so he's gonna flamethrower most likely here because you'd be wasting your time going into but that's fine um, 
Oh, you're actually toxic. You're not expecting a toxic there. <clears throat> hmm. 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 Yeah, let's pivot. Uh, let's pivot. So now he has to go for. Um, he could wild charge if he has it. Uh, I can't. I gotta go our hard arcanine though. He has protect. So toxic here. He keeps going into Reshiram. He could go Eternatus this time, um, which would be a solid play. Uh, Titar, excellent, excellent. Uh, not expecting too much unless it's Taunt Tar. I don't think he'd rocks with Hatterene around. Um, so he double switches to Drill. This is perfectly fine by me. Reshiram gets forced in, and now it's a question of. Clearly, Blue Fair can't do anything. He can't Draco to a KO me. So it's a question of of whether or not you're gonna give me your drink. So I have all the tools. Even if you double the Zacian, um, mm. if he has Protect, what the fuck is a Protect Zacian? Uh, I'm debating whether or not what pivot could he make? Because the Arcanine is solely for the Zacian. And the sand is gonna wear off here. So sand wears off, he attacks, he tries to morning sun. Um, he's not doing any kind of damage. Yeah, I'll say he has enough turns of sand. Okay, so that means he wasn't expecting Hatterene if he expected Corviknight, so he's gonna rock here. Yeah, um, yeah. I can really destroy him here. I can really do a lot of damage here. I'm gonna drain kiss hard. Um, Mm. Trick room. Excellent. 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 Um because the T-Tar is poisoned, right? Now actually Draining Kish is the play here. Draining Kish is the play here. He has to go to Tar. He has to go to Tar. Um hmm. Has to go to Tar, which opens up Umbreon. I'm trying to think, I get a lot of mileage, but I don't think I knock out Zacian. Well, if I max flare, if I G smite, no, I can't, I can't do it yet. I can't do it yet. So let's um, draining kiss here. So now, Hmm. By G Max, knock him out here. Now the better place to go to Darmanitan here. Yeah. He's bulk up body press. Body press can't knock us out. Um he can't guard against Blitz. Yeah. So ideal situation because Oh yeah. So he's trades Corviknight. That's fine by me. So now he's really, 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 really dog trio susceptible. Like he has to go to drill here. He has to go to drill. And because Corviknight is now gone, once I get that Dynamax up, it is a rapportunity. And once I get, um, hmm. So let's go Arcanine here. Cause I know he has to go to drill. Drill can't knock me out. So he's gonna have to make a decision. Do you give up drill to try to Dynamax kill me? Which won't work. Pivots to restaurant. So it's a um it's a heavy duty boost restaurant. Okay. That means he has to double switch back out to drill. Hmm. Ah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so that means he believes Earthquake will kill me from here. Maybe he'll Dynamax. Earthquake won't knock me out. Eternatus, okay. I, I mean, I don't I don't blame my opponent for what he's trying to do. Like, he doesn't have the the, the firepower. You know what I'm saying? So 
he has to make all the plays he can and then he has to dynamax max steel spike here um no he's gonna dynamax max rock fall uh I could Dynamax Max Steel Spike 1v1 him now. Uh, he has to Max Rock Fall here. I'm just debating whether or not I want to. Because now he's gonna, soon he's gonna just get swept straight by Doug Trio. So he has to get the mileage out of this. But assuming he's not, yeah, we just Dynamax Max Steel Spike here. Um, yeah, there's a Max Rock Fall like I expected. Then we Max Steel Spike Spam. Um, max Phantasm. What is that? How does he have Max Phantasm? That's not good. What, what could that be? Shadow Claw? A shadow claw makes sense. So let me see if I I be giving him health. So doggy traps, um, doggy traps. Da -da -da. Max guard, max steel spike. Yeah, let's just max guard here. There's no real reason to um. Yeah, and at this point he's fodder to my dog trio. Trying to think because he obviously has SD, so um, he has the rock slide here, protect Arcanine. Yeah, let's go Umbreon here, the rock slide. Um, it's gonna do a lot with life for it, but Umbreon is no longer necessary. Actually, so it goes Reshiram. This means Blue Flare did how much? Doesn't really matter. Protect here. I actually wish, wish is the better play here. If he attacks, I trap. Um, I trapped you. Um, spot play hard. Yeah. Uh, basically, what my ideal situation there was to trap Dougie sweeps. And I kept Corviknight around primarily for. So maybe this is quick attack. Like, I gotta be mindful of something like a quick attack variant, right? So. I'm trying to think. We could double the drill. Does a drill double solve anything? Protect. No, a drill double doesn't solve anything because you got a SD. got a SD and I protect with Umbreon yeah <sighs> and then I catch you because that last Zacian double was what I needed yeah. oh it's fucking smooth rock that's not good I don't think plus one rock slide will do me in though those plus one LO rock slide Still don't think. Yeah. Plus one life for a rock slide. Protect. And sack Corvy here. Once I catch this drill, it's a wrap. Yeah. So unless unless um this Zacian has like quick attack or something, which I'm gonna scout for. Cause I've seen quick attack variants. Um Yeah, because we Draco lock here. So crunch. Uh he should die. I'm trying to think if something I'm missing something here. Just wanted to make sure though. Yeah. 
doggy sweep um but yeah um i just wanted to make sure that there wasn't anything that i'm not accounting for because i already knew dougie was gonna be a problem the moment he gave me his corviknight right um hatterene could have swept him several times i don't like he made the necessary plays he needed to kudos to him on that like he played his hard i would have made the exact same plays you got to make those plays um what i didn't account for was it being smooth rock tar so i guess drill is a real problem because i treated it like it wasn't um smooth rock drill so that's the difference between so like that game was easier because of the early left to right analysis so have fun he tried to get me i mean there's nobody on the ladder i'm sure this is uber so uh he brought a dog trio um which is gonna be a problem for my arcanine but i don't need my arcanine as much yeah so <clears throat> This is going to be an interesting one. Very interesting. Umbreon guards well against the large majority of his team. And he really, 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 really struggles with Hatterin. Um, Yeah, I'm going to use Darmanitin. Well, do that. Uh, so, Corviknight guards against nothing, kind of. Um, Umbreon, primarily for Mewtwo. Hatterin has a controls. Okay, so I'm gonna try to Darmanitan his team as much as I possibly can. If I get Darmanitan correct, then he's really, really weak to my Dug Tree after a point. So Arcanine on lead. Uh, trying to think if I care. Um, but obviously you're gonna be wary of Hatterene here. So he might pivot to something that can potentially deal with a Hatterene. I know he won't go for Toxic if he has it. Um, so yeah, he Scalds, which is about what I expected. Um, so it's Scald again. Mm -mm, hat is too important. It's too important, yeah. Switch here and get this party started. Hmm, interesting. So we're going the Dougie route. Maybe he's reversal. Yeah. Uh, do I? So I catch his Doug Tree here. So Doug Tree is going to be gone, which is good for Darm. But I'm trying to think as far as Mewtwo is concerned. I could max here. If I TR Max Johnson, yeah. Oh, he died a Max too. I wonder if I die, because I would have just wasted my Umbreon. I wonder if he dies. He's a fucking Duck Trio. Wow, that did zero. Um, that did fucking zero. So we just wasted our Dynamax here, as he kind of did the same. Um, oh, we killed him. Bet. God bless. <laughs> okay. So I think when you switch out the Dynamax, you get some health back, which is going to be important for Toxapex. It's going to be very important for Toxapex. Um, uh, you get barely any health back. Corvina has to come in here. I, I don't think he'd ever go for, what's it called anyway? Stealth Rock anyway. But... Um, he set up the sand wisely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to go to Darmanitan and Earthquake so badly here. <laughs> it's not time yet. I don't know your opponent's skill level. Don't know the opponent's skill level yet. Um, don't know shit about the opponent. So let's let's uh, double the Hatterene here. Mewtwo is a mod of choice. Can Mewtwo touch me? Oh, they run Shadow Ball. That's not good. 
That's not good. I did not know they were in Shadow Ball. He's life for it. That's not good. Mm. I'm gonna have to get the plays right with my Toxapex. That's what it's gonna come down to. My my Toxapex. My uh, well, he had Toxapex, but you know what I'm saying. With um, so let's give him Umbreon here. And the bit the, the, I think the safer play would be to go Pex as a mid ground. Um. Thinking if he'd go Corviknight here. Ah, uh, Corviknight would be really risky because I have a Dug Trio. Like, if my Dug Trio traps you, you're fucked. If he goes Corviknight, do I lose? Oh my, yo, I was like, if he goes Corviknight. This is what I'm talking about, bro. Dug Trio, um, what's it called? Toxapex was the play there. Toxapex was 100% the play there. Luckily, I have Arcanine in KC. Toxapex is 100% to play there. If I Blitz Hero, Dogtrio, Dogtrio just... But the last dude did that, though. The last dude made similar decisions. And, like, for example, right here, he's giving me... um, He's giving me Mewtwo. Uh, I'm trying to think. The Slamethrower. No, Toxic. Toxic is better here. So, he pivots to Toxapex. So, I guess he was just trying to stall. Fair enough. He definitely has Toxic on this. I had a room can't afford to come in. Um, mm. This is gonna be this. I gotta get the players right with Darm. That's what it's gonna come down to ultimately. Uh, he has very low, little reason not to go for Toxic here. Um, yeah. And we'll just flamethrower spam until he feels like he gotta recover. Because I'll do, otherwise my dog tree is gonna trap him. So this is where things get interesting, right? If I blitz and he goes to Corviknight, cause he, did he should know if I'm banded? I think he just sacked T-Tar before he did any of that though. Um, and if he does stay in, he's gonna go for, so he does go Corviknight. So I'm guessing he doesn't value the Corviknight as much as the other things. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna blitz it, or that, or he thinks I can't kill him. Um, maybe he thinks I'm Scarf. I don't know, man. Let, let's go off the choke because I can't. I can't win anymore unless I kill this Corviknight. If I kill it, my Corviknight plus his is a real problem. Um, hopefully, he's faster than me. Goes for body press. Excellent. Um, so maybe he thinks he doesn't die. I don't know. I'll blitz here. Uh, there's the Pex that I've been waiting on, but he can't take two. He has to sack Tar. Uh, man. I don't think he predicted that. I think he just went to Corviknight as like a fuck it. Like, hopefully it works out. Oh, that was a crit shit. That was a crit. Fuck. That was a crit. Now... Hatterene Trick Rooming here is a real problem for him. Um, I don't think the Corviknight has anything other than Body Burst U-Turn. Yeah, I gotta make these plays right. He's gonna stay in here and... Um, doesn't matter if he stealth rocks, actually.
I didn't think he'd still throw there. Didn't think he'd still throw there. Come on, bro. So now this is a, an important turn if he rocks because he, he doesn't want rocks up. Uh, but if I U-turn as he goes for, he's been playing relatively. I'm going to start playing a bit more aggressively here um, since he's been playing the way he's been playing. Because honestly, a lot of the plays I think could have been better, but hey, they worked. They worked, right? Um, they fucking worked. What can I say? Do I die to crunch? I don't think so. So he goes Mewtwo. Huh? If he shot up balls as I go to Dugtrio, Dugtrio tanks and kills him. Um, I think Dugtrio tanks. But I lose if he... Yeah, I lose if he goes for something else. Um, Let's make this interesting. Let's go fire is gonna make. Yep. Uh, so the Mewtwo is now doing no damage, um, which gives me the opportunity to go for uh, Trick Room again. So it's a question of what do you go to here. Um, doesn't really matter what you go to actually. I am surprised he's just staying in. Pressure stall. Uh, pressure stall makes sense. Completely pressure um, crossed my, didn't cross my mind. Um, but all I need to do, because he's going to... Um, here, he's definitely going to go for recovery. Yep. And the question is, which one do I go for? Earthquake or Flare Blitz? Ah, uh, what's the better play? If he goes to Corviknight as I earthquake, I'm gonna I'm gonna um, double down on the Corviknight Bros. Goes T tar mid ground. I thought he'd mid ground T tar earlier than this. To be honest with you, but basically what I did there was anything he can go into gets blitzed, right? And actually, this is great. Um, Corviknight being paralyzed is actually great because it now stalls out the Toxapex. So Corviknight plus Hattering can stall out the Toxapex. Um, this is actually phenomenal. And if the Mewtwo comes in on a U-turn, it gets... Uh, it gets... And now I can um, Ice Go Crash to kill anything. Well... Scald... Uh, no, with the rocks up, I don't need... This to be at a particular range of health. Um, so Hatterene is back. Mm -mm -mm. Obvious Mewtwo. Has to recover. Let's trick room here to make the darn thing interesting again. Oh, I'm out of trick rooms. Fuck. <laughs> uh, so let's psychic here. Hope for a spadef drop. He has a shadow ball there. Um, tough turn here. Do you attack or do you predict my darn? I gotta get these turns right because I'm out of trick room so you can obviously just come in and do what he wants um, 
F Sigma Fire. Gorbonite can't touch me, darn. Should recover Shadow Ball, maybe Flamethrower. Last move. Either way. Actually, Shadow Ball that turn. He's not doing any damage. Okay. Fire Blast. Oh my god. That is a big fucking. That is a big fucking crit. That's a big fucking crit right there. Big fucking crit. Um. Mm. I would have just trapped his Dug Trio. Mom Brown wouldn't be alive and his Dug Trio would be dead, so. You know, and he'd have the position in. But yeah. Um. Darm would be dead. What is he talking about? I'm not even gonna. Because I would have just killed his Dug Trio back. Um. Trying to think. Maybe side strike still because maybe I should have uh what's it called? Recover. Yeah, side strike still kills. Um mm -mm. Yeah. I could have I could have won this game. I needed to get the I needed to get the um I suppose if I if he missed fire blast there. Um I needed to get the um What's it called? I needed to get the Flare Blitz turn right. So he made the correct read. If I Flare Blitz once, that game would have been over quickly. My own fault on that. But yeah, it was a good game nonetheless. I'm trying to think. What I did, something I do uh, miss, I misplayed with, with the pressure. I forgot about Mewtwo's ability. So I allowed him to pressure stall me when I could have used the Trick Room a lot better than I did. Um... What else? Hmm. I could have played Arcanine better. I knew what he'd do a lot of the turns. Uh yeah, we should we should have just played better in that one. Made the Darmanitan call instead. Because the opponent has nothing to lose. You can tell how excited they got by beating me that they're like, oh my god. You gotta win off jam. Um so like I can understand that's very important. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see where this guy's at. Sixteen sixty. I actually lost a lot of points. Arcanine guards well against Necro. That's actually the first Necro. I'm, I'm actually excited to play guards against one, two, three, Umbreon, four. Well, this is gonna be a, a fun one. Hatterene as well just goes in. Um, and Bandit Darm. Once I click that icicle crash, who wants this? Um, Doggy, Zacian, and Eternatus, and Corviknight to help with Necrozma and Marshadow to a lesser extent. Kind of Zacian too, but we'll see about that. Um, game plan wise, I think with the combination of, let me see, combination of Umbreon plus Arcanine should be unbreakable until I get my Darmanitan in and click. Doesn't guard against Earthquake either. Uh, very weak to Earthquake. Uh, and then Corviknight. Only if Necrozma comes out. Dugtrio only if I need it. And then Hatterene. I can G-Max if I get rid of the Lunala. So, um, we're going to go off with the Arcanine to start this game off. I do have Heal Bell. So, I mean, he might go for... Uh, if he goes for the focus blast yeah that was a big miss it was a big miss right there it's a big miss so I predicted that I should have led better though what, what would I maybe I should quit shadow on this uh, let's got what kind of set he is so wish here um, double the Lunala would make sense um, I can't risk him Swords Dancing, though Swords Dancing doesn't really make much sense. I, I don't have the balls to foul play here. Foul play makes sense. 
because CC is hard. Okay, so this is where it gets interesting. Do you go to um, Eternatus or do you go to Quagsire? Oh, Will O' Wisp. Um, ideally, you'd say, I think he'd go to um, Eternatus first. Uh, goes to the Lunala. Huh. And I wish I had Snarl right now. Um, I won't take the Moon Guys beam well. Let's see. I mean, it was Focus Blast, but big miss, big miss nonetheless. You needed to hit that. But again, it's Focus Blast. That looks specs. You're not doing 21% to me. Um, there goes the Zacian Crown, though. And because I went... Because he CC'd last time, I'm going to assume that this is... No, Arcanine is still the play. I was going to go to Corviknight instead, but I'm like, why would I do that? So, I'm assuming this has Dynamite. It might have... Um, I haven't seen T-Spike in a while, but it might have it. Um... Yeah, I was thinking it might have like Dynamax Cannon, but I haven't seen a Sludge sludge Wave variant, but I mean, it's certainly possible. Um, close Combat plus... Yeah, he's gonna Swords Dance here if he has it. Um, hmm... Hmm. Let's flamethrower here. Uh, in the morning sun. Um, this would definitely be a turn. I keep going Umbreon too much, and it's too big of a problem. So if there'd be any turn where you go for focus bots, it'd definitely be that one. And he's clearly spexed. Um, hmm. There's no way you do 21 to us max Pedef Umbreon if you're not specs, right? Uh, that's Morning Sun again here. Mars Shadow is not the wave. Unless he's going to double back out, but I don't know what he's going to want to take a Willow Wisp. Please, for the love of... Oh, wow, that did a ton to me. Rock to Mars Shadow. That is not what you want to see. I do have backup Corviknight to deal with his Zacian, but you know that is not what you want to see as we're going to U-turn out here. I need to get my Arcanine healed. Because more so for the... More so for the, um, I wonder if he has Sludge Wave. He has to stay in here. Well, he's definitely going to straight attack because he can't risk my Arcanine coming in. Good thing about this, I get the Rocky Helmet damage off that I need. And if he stays into Wild Charge, then I catch him with my Dug Trio. Um, so he's trying to go to everything that's not slower than Arcanine, so... Yeah, a few wild charges, which sometimes they do carry. Um, I catch him with Dougie. He's pretty ground weak. So once I catch that Quagsire, um, Quagsire and Necrozma, but it's a big deal because both my Necrozma answers are now been, have now been whittled. Uh, the upside is I do have Darm. So if it's a, let's say it's a, um, you don't die? What's his speed tier? Okay, I'll let you have Arcanine since you're going to be stubborn about it. So I'll let you have Arcanine. Um, uh, it gets interesting here depending on his Necrozma, right? Um, Meaning, like, if it's a Trick Room variant, this could be problematic. Maybe not. Let's see. So he sacks Marsh. Because I want to use my Dynamax. This Draining Kiss hard. Um, that way we get all our health back. 
I'm gonna use my Dynamax versus this Necrozma. But at the same damn time, the neck, uh, if it's a weakness policy variant, just clop, but clobbers me. But the, he has, that's a stealth rocker. So I, mm, tough, tough. Uh, so he goes Loon, which, do I just knock him out with Psychic? Actually, no, he, he resists Psychic. I'm tripping, tripping bros. Uh, so we can go hard on Brion here. Um, Got to move guys beam. And this is phenomenal for us because what we do here is we get to wish. Actually, do I double switch out? Man, I want to go to Corviknight so badly here because I knew he'd go Quag. I knew he would go Quag, Sire. I knew he'd go Quag. Um, yeah, and yes, it's called here. So let's foul play on the odd chance that he, uh, oh, is this physical? That missed. I think he wasn't sure if Corbinite was going to die. And he's like, fuck, I want that Corbinite come. <laughs> Man, that, foul, that focus blast miss was rough, bros. And the problem is he can't even switch because Umbreon is such a disgusting Pokemon um okay did I show you though this is gonna hurt his soul cuz he's gonna scald I'm sorry man and Umbreon I think is high enough to where it can take a potential plus two um, Well, let's see if the if the necrozma is slower than my corviknight then and i give him weakness policy let me think if i if i attack and it's the fast variant i'd have to trick room but then if he dragon dances um so eternatus rares his ugly ass head and um hmm, i'm gonna kill him i whoo john stark <laughs> Hopefully, I forgot that I um, I build this team around somebody else's. How has it been forty five minutes of recording already? Holy shit, bros! Um, <sighs> actually, what I can do is I can go hardcore overnight here. Two, one or two things can happen. Um, he could be faster than me. His photon guys are in the terrain. That's going to knock me out. Uh, and what this allows, like let's say he is a fast variant. I go to Umbreon here and I foul play to a KO. Yeah, see, he's slower than my Umbreon under Trick Room. So he's fast, weakness spot right. So now we get to protect. See, this is that kind of shit. But that, see... If you um if you read my book or you've watched the video series on you know that I put out a compliment to that you remember I discussed the three pillars right in a situation that was less about well nah that was all three that was skill awareness and knowledge but I've lost games and this is the point of losing you lose learn and you 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 know widen your knowledge base um, but that was a situation where all three pillars got to interact with each other so. I knew knowledge of potential Trick Room Necrozma and I was aware of the fact that he could be that and if that was the case with how low my Corviknight is, that would be a problem. So being aware of that, I had to decide, okay, well, do I go all in? So imagine if I went all in there and it was like, fuck it, I'm going to use the fire move. Well, he Photon Geyser, so maybe he didn't even have any, but the assumption should be that he has Sun Steel Strike regardless. So, because there's just no reason to ever click Photon guys that versus my team, um, even with the Psychic Terrain up, unless you thought I'd go Corviknight. I mean, in that position, you definitely have no room to predict, because if my Hatterene attacked with um, Flare, the Sun's going to be up, Sun's up, even if it's a roll, it kills him for sure next turn. But it made, because I was aware of the potential outcomes in the end game, um, I didn't just mindlessly click. 
Uh, and that's where the the pillar is kind of intermesh because I could be aware of it and then I could I could know of it and be aware of it which are two different things go watch that video um, and it's gonna be right it should be about right here in the video you can know of it and be a and um, you can know of it and be aware of it but not know what to do so I made the incorrect play um, you can know of it and know what to do but not be aware of it so then I be like, oh shit if only I'd known and you cannot know and if you don't know then most of the time if you don't have the knowledge of it you're not gonna have the awareness and if you don't have the awareness you're not gonna use skill to solve the problem because you didn't know you weren't aware of it if you don't know what I'm talking about go watch the Javad three pillars video that will explain everything and that will really open your mind to what this game really is um, I have a lot of big things in store for you guys I wrote some today that I think will help a lot of players and all this will be put up on the website and all in order and all that but yeah thank you for watching shout outs to my guy your hatterene did a lot hopefully you were proud of hatterene it destroyed everybody and i'll see you guys in the next one peace